Applying HDRI via V-Ray Dome produces more detailed results in shadows. And there are even more benefits. V-Ray Dome Light is an image-based lighting tool, which means that you can use it even without the global illumination enabled and it will generate a very smooth illumination. The end result is not only better, but also more optimized and faster. I'm going to show you four situations where using a V-Redom with HDRI maps. Situation number one. We have an exterior. We have a big plane where this exterior is placed. Uh, we just need uh, an environment that envelope our exterior that create light, reflections and background. This is the perfect situation for a B-Ray Dome. So, go to texture slot, select V-Ray HDRI and drag and drop into material editor as instance. Then select um, HDR map among the maps I already have. Consider that most of these maps are spherical so I set it up on spherical and start the render. As we can see from this render, we have background, we have the light and perfect reflections, all with just with one V-Ray light dome. Uh, we can rotate the background using the option horizontal rotation. To see how this background changes, um, we can go to um, environment, copy this map here as instance and then enable here the option environment background. Unfortunately our map appears overexposed in the material editor so we can play with these two parameters in order to display it correctly. I can reduce this 10 times and increase the other, the, the other option 10 times. Something as you can see is becoming visible in the viewport. And then I, I reduce this 100 times and increase the other one 100 times in order to keep the lighting constant. This moment I can use this option horizontal rotation and I can finally see how this map is placed on our scene. Also in this case the render matches in terms of background, light and reflections and we can also notice very strong shadows that are not produced by special settings, but it is the, the HDR map that allows to produce strong shadows. In this case, we have a, a very clear spotlight in the map, even if the sun is passing through the clouds, but the spotlight is very clear. Of course, if we use a cloudy HDR map, we won't get any shadow. Situation number two, we have an interior and we also have uh, large windows. So we can use an HDRI map to add details into the lighting. Also in this case, we can use a V-Ray Dome. Uh, as before, we use a V-Ray HDRI map into the texture slot. And we can start the render and this is the result, which is a very great result. We can try different options. We can enable store with the radiance map, which is the same approach uh, if we put this map into the environment uh, rollout. But we, we can use uh, anyway V-Ray Dome. And when we have the situation, we, when we use this approach, we can enhance the details of shadows using V-Ray portals into the exterior or we can put these portals inside and enabling the option simple and this is the result. 
Of course, the first option uh, is the best one, but it requires more time to be rendered. In case we want to reduce render time, we can use the portal option or portal with symbol. Situation number three. Uh, we have an object that we want to insert into an exterior environment. In this case, we are using V-Ray DOM with the V-Ray HDRI and an object. In case I start the render and I get a very dark result, but I can see fine this map in the background and material editor. Uh, in this case, I can just increase the render multiplayer option. I could also increase the overall multiplayer, but in order to do not get overexposed maps in preview, I just increase render multiplayer. And I get this result. What I'm missing now is a plane to cast shadows. For this, I'm going to use matte object. So I create a plane under the object in order to cast its shadows. Right click, view properties and I enable matte object, matte for reflections and refractions and the shadows. Start the render. Now these splotches that are creating in this area are created by the object and the global illumination. So a way to solve this problem is disabling disabling receive global illumination and this is the result or uh, we can use we do not change this parameter and just disable global illumination if you remember we we can render with V-Ray Dome uh, even without the global illumination. So, in situations like this where the secondary bounces are not relevant for this scene, we can disable global illumination, considering that a viewer dome is able to create a very smooth illumination. Situation number four. We have a V-Ray dome with a V-Ray HDRI. We have a plane as matte object, start the render, in this case without the global illumination, and we have a problem. The perspective of the object and the perspective of the V-Ray HDRI are different. We need to project the bottom part of the V-Ray HDRI on the plane in order to get a perfect match between the two perspectives. This is possible thanks to the ground projection option available into V-Ray HDRI node. Enable this and start the render. The option Ground Projection uh, is available only for environment maps. What we are getting in this area is the background behind the matte object. So we can solve this problem using a simple uh, infinite plane or we can create a huge plane changing uh, the length and width of this plane. And this is the final result, projecting this map on a plane. Uh, this option allows uh, to to get a perfect match between the perspective of the object and the perspective of the background. We have some options uh, that can help us to perfect this projection. Uh, we can reduce the radius to 200 and also can put 100 in this field in order to get uh, uh, the projection closer to the camera. Great, much better now. This was the image without projection and it is with projection. 
Well, as you can imagine, there are lots of combination between med object, background, uh, V-Ray Dome. Anyway, I hope these four situations will help you using V-Ray Domes with HDRI maps.